Well hello and welcome to my latest video and today we've got another video in my series Guidance for the New Cyclist. Yes, if you're a new cyclist, you've recently started perhaps during this period of lockdown and there are some things about cycling that are still a little bit of the dark arts to you. Well, this is the series of videos to watch and you will learn everything you need to know. So what are we doing today? Well, today we are doing one of the key skills for the new cyclists and that is how to fill your water bottle. Now, we're going to start, oh, nearly fell over there. We're going to start first, first as Fanny Credit used to say, first find your water bottle. Now you can buy these online or you can buy them from your local bike shop. And I think they can, you can also get them probably in Lidl or Aldi or other supermarkets. So it's our water bottle. It looks like this, it doesn't have to be gold. And we're now going to follow this water bottle to the source from source to sea and we're going to see how this water bottle gets filled and how it is then put on your bike and how you can then drink from it when you're cycling so we're going to move to the view the point of view of the bottle so come with me fasten your seat belts and let us go on this water bottle journey of journeys don't go away it's a journey that begins deep in the primordial swamp or as I call it West Wickham and we take the bottle so having gathered your bottle recovered your bottle take your bottle in your right hand or you can take it in your left hand as I'm doing or you can carry it in both hands it's up to you and go out of the door of course you may not start in your garage you may be somewhere completely different and therefore the journey that your bottle takes from your source, wherever the source was, wherever your bottle was, the journey that your bottle takes to the tap may be a different one. So you're watching my journey, you're watching an individual journey, you're watching a very personal journey, you're watching a journey, a journey of discovery as we go through, we go through the garden looking, looking for the tap, the tap of doom, the tap of the tap of everything, the tap of life, the tap of water, the tap of the tap of spinal tap. We're looking for the spinal tap. Now, you may not have a gold bottle. You may have a red bottle. You may have a yellow bottle. You may have a blue bottle. But I wouldn't use a blue bottle if I were you because you might get stung. But hold it, hold it tight. Don't let it fall because you don't want to lose that empty bit of plastic before you reach your final destination your garden may not have bugs like mine has my journey my journey through bugs is a journey of discovery what Aldous Huxley's Huxley called the door of perception or the doors of perception which incidentally was how the band perception got its name sorry how the band the doors got its name from Aldous Huxley's great book the doors of perception which I read but couldn't understand but we will go through the door there that disembodied hand my right hand because my left hand is holding the bottle my right hand is going to open the door and we're going to enter there listen to that telltale sound of the door opening oh, we've gone through the door and now we've entered the kitchen and your kitchen may not look like this you may not have a cat on the ground you may not have a cat tray but you may have a, a fridge, you may have a, a washing machine, you may have a dishwasher. If you're lucky, you may have a pineapple, a red pepper, a green pepper, a yellow pepper, other peppers are available, some onions. And you will have, well, let's hope you have a sink. So you come to the sink, holding the bottle in your hand. I'm holding the bottle in my left hand and I have removed the top of the bottle with my right hand and I switch on the tap I let the cold water run for a bit because or rather I let the water run for a bit because I want it to be nice and cold and I fill the bottle like this I fill it almost to the top that sound you can hear is the water the water of life flowing into the bottle and there I'm now putting the top on and I'm screwing the top onto my bottle like that and now We've seen how the bottle gets filled with water. Let's see how the bottle gets back, gets back to the bike, its final destination. 
opening the door, still carrying the bottle. Close the door behind us and we're going now back into the garage. The journey of the bottle, opening the door and now we're going to find a bike, a suitable bike. This here is a suitable bike. This is uh, a giant Defy, as it happens, other bikes are available. You can use your own bike, you don't have to use a giant Defy if you don't want to. And here is the bottle cage, there'll be a separate video about the history of bottle cages. And we put the bottle into the bottle cage like that, we put it in firmly, it makes a nice satisfying click. And now we're ready to ride, and we're ready as we ride to reach down our, our arm wouldn't be reaching from here, it would be reaching from up there as we're sitting on the bike, you can uh, kind of imagine that. Uh, you're reaching down and you remove the bottle, this one's a little bit stiff there, we remove it and we drink from it. You can't see me drinking from it but you're seeing the, the bottle rise up, rise up towards my lips and glug 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 glug, that's me pretending to be drinking from the bottle. And now the bottle goes on its continuous journey back into the bottle cage where it is trapped. A bottle cage, a golden bottle trapped in a golden cage like princesses everywhere. And now, now you know how to fill your bottle and how to put it on your bike. Make sure you watch my next video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.